welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm jamala janessa if you're returning thank you as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you guys so much for 2000 subscribers like <laughs> I could cry. My last video a day in the life, I think I got over a hundred subscribers just from that one video. Like, I'm telling you, be patient, everything will work out. Like, I wasn't even expecting that video to just blow up. Honestly, like when I posted that video or when I filmed the video, I wasn't gonna film. And I'm like, you know what? Let me put this camera up because it's been a minute. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So you see by the title, we're doing the studio tour. I'm so excited to show you guys how I set up in here, where I got everything from. Most of the stuff is from like Amazon and stuff like that. But yeah, let me start in my mouth and get to it. Okay, so let's start in this area. So this is the door. So I got this rack from a 99 cent store and I always just hang my bags. And I have these two robes that I usually film content in. And then I got this mat. It says good vibes only. I got this from Amazon. Everything in here is mostly from Amazon. And then I got the shoe rack. So, you know, when you come in, you got to take off your shoes. If you don't want to take your shoes off, we do have shoe covering. And then I have the broom here. I got this broom from Amazon as well. The theme of in here is purple. And then I have these bins here. These are just miscellaneous items that I don't know. What exactly is in these? Okay. Yeah, like I said, miscellaneous items. <laughs> and down there, same thing. And then over here... I have these bins so this is like extra bonnet fabric this is adult custom they're labeled as well kids customs and then do rags and then over here we have the scrunchies and then down here I have the robes I try to keep it color coordinated but yeah it's cute or whatever and then down here I have the extra scrunchie fabric whenever I cut bonnets I always have extra fa um, scrap fabric and instead of throwing them out I always just save them so this is like full to like the max and then down here i have the bed slippers you have the so fluffy ones and you have the crisscross ones and then down here i got my handy dandy toolbox because i'll be drilling stuff doing a whole bunch of stuff in here so i just keep that down there so over in this corner we have all the bonnet storage on this side is all the bonnets that i sew by hand all the way down let me just show you a little sneak peek Oh, they so cute. Like, come on. I do need to restock because I'm running out. Look at that. Olive is gone. Nudes one left. <laughs> I do need to restock, but I got these from Amazon. Some of them is hard to open. That's the only thing I hate. But, oh, we empty over here. <laughs> and then this. This one. This one, and then this one. And then over here is shower caps. I, think I have one shower cap left. Like, Mel, get it together. Then over here I have the extra large bonnets, and then I have like some sativa fabric that I need to sew. So you have those. And then everything else is like the wrap me bonnets, sky blue, silver. And I have the sativa bonnets here. I need to change this label. Lavender wrap me you know and so on so on <laughs> and here i have my little mannequin she's just my little showstopper if you come in the room you're gonna see you know bonnet out and open i got the chain that says mouse sleepwear this is from sj jewelry co i also link her information in the description box so you can check her out there's some really big windows in here like really big so we're gonna start at this section right here so here i got this table from michael's so it's a table that can close up if you guys been here since the beginning, this is a table I've been always sewing on. And this is a table I like to pack my orders on now. I just put it in the middle of the room. Here is the iron that I use to press the names on the bonnets. And then down here, kind of junky, but I have all the stuff that I need to print the names on the bonnets and press them on. So here you go. And then down here is like all the vinyls and stuff. And then that purple bag back there is where I used to store my stuff before I got a sweep. So, And then this is just the holder that I put in the bonnets when I'm pressing the names on so it don't crease. But yeah, I love this table, like, and it has wheels. Fun fact, when I was moving in here, <laughs> my wheel broke off and I had to like Gorilla Glue. And it opens on both sides. Here I have a picture of me when I went viral on TikTok. I got over 120 orders, I believe. 
yeah so you know we gotta put stuff like this so we can keep going you see this and you're like let me keep going like let me not give up because it can happen again and then here is a table this is one of the tables so i bought two tables from amazon and i just put them together so it can give like an l shape i got this cutting mat from amazon i think when i first started business i have not bought a new one and it's been working you can even see it like <laughs> it might be time for me to change this but it's working then on the windowsill i just keep like miscellaneous stuff i have like my light here another light when i take like product pictures um i use that for my mannequin head and then something to put around my neck to film content and then down here i have this fridge that my cousin bought me so cute and little i need to restock it with water but usually i have water in there and it's cold it gets it really really cold so that works then down here i have my little basket of like all my essentials i have my lysol wipes my hand sanitizer paper towel tissue my girly stuff lotion hand soap <laughs> bags for my garbage lint roller because fabric be all over me so this is holy grail room spray and then i have a candle i just have the mat that i used to iron on the bonnet then i have my template that i used to cut the bonnets out and then under here i have like these big boxes for when i have like huge orders i use these i have gloves i have mask and then this is extra bubble mailers and then back there is poly mailer and then extra lysol wipes this corner i have all the thread so everything is color coordinated and then i have my pegboard over here so on my pegboard i have the big black thread because they couldn't fit over here i have tape i have mountain tape my iron to press the bonnets on I have little sewing stuff when I need to clean my machine, my Cricut stuff, also like my bodkin. I have the labels for the bonnets. I have the clips for the bonnets, safety pins. This is what I used to use to put the bands in the um, bonnets, but I don't need to use these anymore since I have the handy dandy bodkin. <laughs> and then these are my pins that I use. And this is just extra stuff like more needles, cotton stuff, and you know, yeah. And then I have this regular tape and I have my rotary cutter. I have my bobbins and I have more pins and this is really for decorations I don't use these <laughs> this is the one that I really use and then my scissors and then down here is just my machine so this is a singer machine I don't remember the number but I'll link it down below everything will be in my Amazon storefront so you guys can see it and then I bought this mat because if it's not on a mat the whole table shakes now I really don't want to disturb anybody so I bought this mat and it's very very helpful and down here we have my label printer and then I have the thing in the back that attaches it. Yo, I used to pray for times like this. Like it was so annoying, like having to go in the bins and the buckets to get these things out. Now, all I just gotta do is plug it into my laptop and boom, everything comes out. God is so good. And then down here, I have my scale where I used to weigh my stuff. I have another label printer. This is what I started with, my Dymo, but I like the other one better. <laughs> and then I have more labels down here and other wires and other stuff that's not important <laughs> okay this is my favorite part my little desk area so i have business cards because sometimes people come in my shop and i'll just show them you know what's on the business cards i have my little charger because i be in here all day gotta keep my phone charged i have this little clipboard i think i got it from home goods like a really long time ago it was at home and i just brought it here i have this phone stand from shein a candle that my bestie bought me some more room spray and then I have this little area here. I have my books, like where I write my notes and my goals for the month. Post-it notes, little stuff in here that's needed. And all these type of stuff. <laughs> this chair is so comfy, like so, 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 so comfy. But yeah, let me show you guys an overview of what I showed you so far. Over here, I got a mini sewing machine. My coworker bought this for me as a gift. I guess it's like backup. You know, anything wrong with my big machine, I do have something I can use. I haven't used it yet, but. And then here I have a card reader. So like everybody coming to the suite, they can just pay with their card here instead of ordering online. So here I have like the thank you cards, business cards and miscellaneous stuff. The bags to put the bonnets in, bubble mailers, more bubble mailers and then poly mailers and then like my um plastic wraps over here is my calendar for july i did not fill it out for this month don't come for me because i did not send for you <laughs> let me be <laughs> but yeah that's that little area and then my couch 
when I tell you the naps be busting on here, that's why the couch is in here for me to sleep. When I be working all day, I come from work and I come here, nap time first, then we get to work. <laughs> but I got this couch from Wayfair, so comfy. And you know, I got my little blanket because it be getting a little nippy in here, especially in the winter time. I just got a heater just so I keep warm. And then I got this garbage can from Amazon. Don't play with her. <laughs> so this is the mirror that I have in here. It's from the 99 cent store. It's supposed to be an over the door mirror. I just took off those hinges that's on it and put it on the wall because we got that over the door. We don't need extra stuff. And it's actually cute on the wall. Like it matches the aesthetic in here and everything. So yeah so that concludes the tour i feel like it was kind of short and sweet i feel like i don't need to go deep inside and be like oh this is for this this is for that like but if you guys want a video of like all the products i use for my bonnets or like for storage or whatever just let me know <laughs> and i'll make one for you guys but yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye